Lewis Hamilton fears it will be difficult to progress through the order in the Turkish Grand Prix from 11th on the grid. Hamilton set the fastest time in qualifying in Istanbul, smashing the lap record with a 1 minute 22.868 seconds, but will start 10 places further back due to a grid penalty for taking a fourth engine this season. Despite holding a clear pace advantage over the remainder of the field and a 0.328 second margin over F1 title rival Max Verstappen, Hamilton is not expecting to scythe his way through the field. It's not the easiest track for overtaking at the moment, and we're all on the same tyre as well, so I imagine it is going to be difficult to move up, said Hamilton. You saw in the last race what happened with Max once he got behind sixth place or something, and vice versa for me also. But we've got the long straight down the back. We'll see what we can do. Hopefully, we can give the fans here a good race. Daniel Ricciardo has refused to blame his McLaren team for his Q1 elimination in the Turkish Grand Prix qualifying after seemingly being sent out too early as conditions improved. Drivers started qualifying on slick tyres despite the damp track surface carried over from overnight rain and a wet final practice session. As the track dried and tyre temperatures rocketed, lap times continuously improved throughout the session, but Ricciardo was the first to complete his final qualifying attempt, falling from 8th to 16th as a result of track evolution. Ricciardo will start 15th, however, with Carlos Sainz dropping to the back of the grid after Ferrari completely changed the Spaniard's power unit. Asked by Sky Sports F1 if the elimination was as simple as his team not sending him out at the right point, Ricardo insisted, No, I mean there was maybe a bit of timing, but I think we honestly just struggled on the softs as the track got better. It was still damp in some places, and I think everyone was improving, but we couldn't really get that much more out of the softs. We made some changes in the pit stop when putting on the second tyre to try and help get me a bit more grip. We made quite a big step, but we couldn't really change the feeling. We have just got to understand a bit with our tyres. It was trickier today, but that is about it. As always, when the track is improving, there is a bit of timing. I think maybe I crossed the line P8, and by the end, I was P16. Being last always helps, but there was yellow flags and stuff in turn one, so you get out of sync. I wouldn't point the finger, just ultimately not quite there on the softs.